Hello Martin, uh, Rebel Technology, rather noisy room, uh, yeah. lots of stuff going on here with the launch of Ableton 10 behind us. Uh, you're based in London, so it made sense for you to come to We Are Robots. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I'm and, here uh, anyhow. And we, were, we shared a panel this morning where we, we did, talked yeah. about the future of music technology, Indeed, right? Indeed, that's what We Are Robots is all about, it's the future of music technology. So, uh, yeah, so I'd like to tell you a little bit about the future of music technology. Okay, let's yeah. go. So, uh, of course, you, you're aware of uh, the OWL, our um, programmable module, which allows you to basically take a patch that you've been working on in uh, Pure Data or Max MSP and then bring it into a modular format. And um, effectively, what we're doing with the modular is musical programming. We connect our, uh, we do our patching. And uh, it's essentially the same thing that you do uh, in Pure Data or Max MSP, Max Gen. Um, so it's extending the uh, the patching from the virtual space, where you got near endless possibilities, into making putting it into hardware. So and sorry, carrying which, on the patching which module was it we were looking for? Which one is hosting the Pure Data? Yeah, so this is with the USB interface. This is the L. This is now running a max gen patch and it's just it's just an example of what you can do with it but so what i'd like to show you and what i'd like to tell you about and this is the sonic state scoop is the uh, next product in line which is the uh, we call it the wizard so it's a mini owl you can load it with it's got a micro usb it's got dc power it's also got a usb host interface so you can plug a midi keyboard into it and what you can do with this is do the same thing. So you take your pure data or your max gen patch or your C++ patch, you put it on here and then you carry on patching. So you got a blank slate, you can do um, you can do subtractive, additive synthesis, you can do uh, FM synthesis, load up, make it suit your purpose and then patch away. So will it is it the sort of thing that you can you can patch? So you can modify the application in real time yeah. on the unit? Or you, do you can have to? do, absolutely, yeah, yeah. And then you can connect several of these together. We've, uh, we've got a baby version as well, which we call the Alchemist. And um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a project that's not, it's not public yet. Expect a Kickstarter in, uh, end of, towards the end of the year. And will that, uh, what sort of uh, power is there in there? Yeah, it's it the do, same. How many voices, you know, what sort of... Yeah, so for example, it, it runs the same patches as the OWL module and the OWL pedal. For example, we can run um, a four-operator four FM synth with eight, eight voices polyphony. So it's not bad what you can do with that. That's with envelopes and everything, and everything under parameter, real-time, low-latency parameter control. So I guess the real kicker is, uh, is getting the, edit, the the pure data editing GUI sort of friendly enough for people to want to tinker it, and that yeah, sort of absolutely. It. I mean, we have a community of uh, synthesis that are publishing patches, which you can find on our website, and um, and it's all about growing this community, about reaching new people. And um, the the reason we call it the Wizard is that, uh, well, effectively, algorithms are modern day magic, right? So it's the uh, magic potions and spells of the real world. So, um, has the name the wizard? And, and, uh, and, and can you can you generate CV from? Oh, the absolutely! Yes, yeah. so it's got two two CV outputs, one trigger output, two CV inputs, one trigger input. And I just, as I said, with the USB host interface, you can plug in your jump pads or plug in a, a keyboard, and you've got a mobile sim. Oh, that's really interesting. So, I mean, one of the, the statements that was made a little earlier on the panel was uh, to do with the kind of cutting edge being the combination of digital and analog. Yeah, is that absolutely. something you feel yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. is the case? So we're, I mean, it's another development stream with uh, what we're prototyping at the moment is um, analog oscillators and filters tied with digital control and uh, looking at what can be done in that field. I think we're only really scratching the surface of the uh, what's possible, yeah. And also bringing in line with that the uh, the uh, multi-dimensional uh, controllers that we have available now, and turning them into real fully-fledged instruments. That's what that's what we're looking at. So uh, what's so the, the the wizard is available it's soon, soon uh, when you do the Kickstarter. Yeah. What about uh, so this everything guy here? else? Here, so the latest product we have is the the tonic which uh, turns uh, triggers into doing the sequencing. 
It turns the triggers into uh, CD pitch, pitch control, yeah. Right, it triggers into melody. Okay, thank you very much.